Hello students, listen to me Let the study early The subject that brings out the best in everybody And it includes you and me Agricultural ICT Industrial Arts HE All these components will help you to get ready So you could reach your goals and dreams Let the study TLE Let the study come with me All of the knowledge and all of the skills Will help you to be life ready Will help you to be life ready Today, students, it's another awesome time to learn new things. This is Sir Ike, and welcome to our virtual PLE class. Lord, true source of light and wisdom, give me a keen sense of understanding, our attentive memory, and the capacity to grasp things correctly. Grant me the grace to be refined in my action and the skills to express myself with thoroughness and clarity. Be with me at the start of my work. Guide its progress and bring it to success. Amen. Before we move forward, make sure that you have all the materials that you need for our day's lesson. You can play and pause this video if you need more time answering the activities. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have a short review of the lesson last meeting. Direction Identify the following questions about the market forms of vegetables. Based on our previous lesson, it refers to dehydrating vegetables to prolong their shelf life. You're right if your answer is drying. Second question. This is a form of food preservation which helps make vegetable last longer. If your answer is canned, then you are correct. This market form of vegetable undergone a little or no processing from the time they are harvested to the time they were marketed or sold. The correct answer is fresh vegetables. And lastly, Commercially packaged in plastic bags or cardboard boxes for the purpose of storing at the freezing point. Good job if you answered frozen vegetables. Now that you have recalled our previous lesson about the market forms of vegetables, I want you to watch this short video. Based on the short video that you have watched, what do you think is it all about? If your answer is all about food presentation and plating, then you are right. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to Identify the factors of food presentation 
appreciate the importance of knowing the guidelines in plating and perform and apply the guidelines in plating. As we begin, let me check your prior knowledge about today's lesson. Listen carefully and try to find out the correct answers. Number 1. It refers to good preparation and cooking techniques. Is it A. Proper cutting and cooking of vegetables? Letter B. Professional skills? Letter C. Visual sense? Or letter D. Portion size? You are correct if your answer is letter A, proper cutting and cooking of vegetables. Number 2. It refers to ability to perform according to required standards. Is it A, proper cutting and cooking of vegetables? Letter B, professional skills? Or letter C, visual sense? Or letter D, portion size? If your answer is letter B, professional skills, then you got the correct answer. Number 3. Balance the portion sizes of the items on the plate. Is it A, proper cutting and cooking of vegetables? Letter B, professional skills? Letter C, visual sense? Or letter D, portion size? You are correct if your answer is letter D, portion size. Number 4. It means to create a center of attention and relate everything to it. Is it A. Keep food off the rim of the plate? Letter B. Arrange items for the convenience of the customer. Letter C. Maintain unity. Or letter D. Make every component count. You're doing great if your answer is letter C, maintain unity. And lastly, number 5. Select a plate large enough to hold food without hanging off the edge. Is it A. Keep food off the rim of the plate? Is it B. Arrange items for the convenience of the customer? Letter C. Maintain unity. Or letter D. Make every component count. Excellent! If you answered letter A, keep food off the rim of the plate. To start our lesson, let us first define terms which will appear and may bring confusion. Words defined are Garniture It is something that garnishes decoration or adornment. Another word to define is elaborate. It means detailed and complicated in design and planning. And lastly, the word hip. It is a group of things placed or lying one on another. I think you are all excited to learn new things. So let's begin. Our lesson title is Present Vegetable Dishes. Food plating and presentation are essentials because it enhances both the look and taste of your food. Giving focus on food presentations allows you to showcase your creativity and thoughtful plating ideas. Hence, there are several important concepts to keep in mind as you present your vegetable dishes. Let us identify the essential factors of food presentation. The first one is good preparation and cooking techniques. 
it refers to proper cutting and cooking of vegetables. The second one is what we call professional skills. It is the ability to perform according to required standards. The third factor is what we call visual sense. Effective food presentation depends on the understanding of techniques involving balance, arrangement, and garniture. The fourth one is portion size. Match portion sizes and plates. Balance the portion sizes of the items on the plate. And lastly, number five, arrange on the plate. Keep in mind the convenience and comfort of the diner when plating. Let us proceed with the plating styles with vegetable dishes. Number one, main item in front, vegetables, starch, items, and garnish at the rear. Second style, main item in the center with vegetable distributed around it. Number 3. Main item in the center with neat piles of vegetables carefully arranged around. And lastly, starch or vegetable item hip in the center, the main item sliced and leaning up against it. And now, let us enumerate the guidelines in plating. First in the guidelines in plating is to keep the food off the rim of the plate. It means to select a plate large enough to hold food without hanging off the edge. Second in the guidelines in plating is to arrange the items for the convenience of the customer. Always rearrange the best side of food on plate to avoid letting the diner rearrange them before eating. The third one is to keep space between items unless they are stuck on one another. Arrange vegetable on plate that every item should be identifiable. Number 4. Maintain unity. Create a center of attention and relate everything to it. The fifth guideline is to make every component count. Garnishes are not added just for color, but sometimes they are needed to balance a plate by providing an additional element. The sixth guideline is to add sauce or gravy attractively on plate. Pour sauce around or under the dish or covering only a part of the dish. Always think of the sauce as part of the overall design of the plate. And last on the guidelines in plating is to keep it simple. Avoid making food too elaborate. Now let us have an activity to test if you really understand our lesson. This activity is entitled Complete Me. The direction is to identify the following essential factors of food presentation. Try to guess the correct answers by using the given hint letters. The hint letters in number 1 is letter P and letter S. What do you think is the right answer? Very good! If your answer is professional skills. Number 2. The letters are letter P and letter S. You are right if your answer is portion size. How about the third one? The letters are letter A and letter P. Great job if your answer is arrangement on the plate. And lastly, Try to guess what essential factor of food presentation is this. If your answer is good preparation and cooking techniques, you are excellent! To sum it up, why do you think is it important to know the guidelines in plating? Knowing the guidelines in plating 
makes us knowledgeable on the proper ways of arranging and presenting food on the plate. Let us check your understanding by doing this activity. This activity number two is entitled Think and Write. The objective of this activity is to list down the plating styles with vegetable dishes. The materials needed are ball pen and paper. All you need to do is to write the different plating styles with vegetables. Write your answers inside the plates. For your performance output, ask your mother or guardian to prepare any vegetable dish for your lunch or dinner and help her in plating the vegetables. Apply the guidelines in plating. Your performance output will be evaluated using these rubrics. Now let's proceed to our quiz number 3. On a clean sheet of paper, answer the following questions. Number 1. It means to create a center of attention and relate everything to it. Is it A. Keep food off the rim of the plate? Letter B. Arrange items for the convenience of the customer. Letter C. Maintain unity? Or letter D. Make every component count? Number 2. Balance the portion sizes of the items on the plate. Is it A. Proper cutting and cooking of vegetables? Letter B. Professional skills? Letter C. Visual sense? Or letter D. Portion size? Number 3. It refers to good preparation and cooking techniques. Is it A. Proper cutting and cooking of vegetables? Letter B. Professional skills? Letter C. Visual sense? Or letter D. Portion size? Number 4. Select a plate large enough to hold food without hanging off the edge. Is it A. Keep food off the rim of the plate? Letter B. Arrange items for the convenience of the customer. Letter C. Maintain unity. Or letter D. Make every component count. And lastly, number 5. It refers to ability to perform according to required standards. Letter A. Proper cutting and cooking of vegetables. Letter B. Professional skills. Letter C. Visual sense. Or letter D. Portion size. And for your assignment, answer the following questions and write a reflective learning on the preparation of raw vegetables. Number 1. What have you realized in presenting vegetables? And number two, what learning can you share with your family from this lesson? That's all for today. I hope you learned something. See you on our next video lesson.